Hey everybody, this is Jill and this is Jill for today. It's morning time and I'm making Instant Pot oatmeal. And it's delicious, nutritious, and so easy to do. You can set it up, go take your shower, get the kids up, whatever you've got to do, and before you know it, you have oatmeal. So let's come on down to my Instant Pot and I will show you how easy it is. I have three and a half cups of water in there and I will of course put all the ingredients and the instructions down in my description box. Three and a half cups of cold water and I'm adding to that two cups of uh, old fashioned oats and then I have some cut up apple. This is a, oh, about, uh, it's a half of a large apple. That happens to be Fuji. You could add Red Delicious or Honeycrisp. And then I have some maple syrup, delicious, real maple syrup, uh, not, uh, not log cabin. So I have some maple syrup in there. And, and then I have a combination of cinnamon and then of course a little salt there, which always helps with the flavor. And I'm just going to just get this mixed in. So everything's nicely, nicely combined. And that is how easy it is. And I'm gonna put the lid on my Instant Pot. Make sure the switch is on sealed, right? Okay. I am going to hit the manual button and I'm going to adjust my time down to six minutes. And that is all there is to it. So once this is cooked, I'm going to let it uh, natural release for about five minutes. Of course, if you're out there getting busy doing things around your home, you know, you won't have to worry about it, but I'm going to let it, uh, you know, natural release for oh, about six, seven minutes, and then I'll uh, let the rest of the steam out, and we'll open the open the lid. We are back. The pot is done. I let it sit five minutes, and then I did a quick release. Now I timed it from the moment I put the lid on until that five minutes was up, and I released it, and it was 19 minutes. Now some people might say, oh gosh, that's an awful long time to work on oatmeal, but it really isn't. When you think about heating up the oil, uh, water on the stove, putting your oats in, and then you have to sort of babysit them, at least that's what I end up doing. So it takes up some time. This way it's just effortless, right? So let's open up this lid here and see what we've got. Ooh, we've got hot is what we've got. Yeah, see there. Now we like ours a little on the, th I'm gonna get a towel here because that is hot. We like ours a little on the thicker side and so this looks really good. If you liked it even drier than this, you could put it on, you know, your saute on low and let it bubble a little bit, but as far as I'm concerned, this is eat ready. So I'm going to get a bowl and I'm going to dress some of this up and we're going to take a sample. this huh let me show it to you here oh isn't that beautiful now what I did was I put some chopped pecans on this and some raisins but you can do anything with this you could put a different kind of nut you could put maybe dry cranberries you could put additional maple syrup uh, maybe some flaxseed or whatever you know whatever a coconut would be good so let's take a taste of this I can't wait because I'm hungry mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That is a bowl of goodness. Those apples in there are phenomenal. And the raisins, and you taste that maple syrup. Mm. And of course, the stuff on top is great. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is a winner. I think you're going to really enjoy it. Uh, if you didn't have an Instant Pot, of course, you could do this on your stove. Mm, I've still got a mouthful, um, but it's a wonderful recipe for your Instant Pot. You don't like apples? Leave the apples out. So that is it here from my kitchen in the morning. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Don't forget, if you'd like to, give me a thumbs up. The recipe is down below in the description box. Check out the rest of my channel and my playlists, and I will see you soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.